Hello everyone, this is Anne with Bite Size Music. I'm here with my friend, the frog. Hello. And the bunny. Hello. And we'll be showing you tips today on using music at home with your children during this difficult time. I'm an elementary music teacher and a mother of a two-year-old, and I just thought this might be a way for me to share some tips for you to use music at home while we're all quarantined at home uh, during this coronavirus um, time. So I'll be giving you tips for using music with infants, toddlers, preschoolers, and um, early kids in early elementary, so ages zero through um, seven. Mostly the tips I'm going to be giving you are influenced by the work of Dr. John Feyerabend. He His curriculum is what I use in my elementary music classroom, and he also have has curriculums for infants and toddlers. So I'll be drawing from the infant toddler curriculum as well as his curriculum for preschoolers and elementary age students. So um, just a little bit about why this is important and um, well, first of all, it's important because these are difficult days. People are stuck at home with their kids. We need moments of joy and connection at home. So music can really provide that. So I'll, I'll share a few things to do uh, where music can help you find a little more joy and connection with your kids because um, I know it's tough. And another reason is, uh, you know, just from a music educator's standpoint, the, the developmental window for kids developing their musical intelligence is from age zero to seven. So what you do with your kids be between ages zero and seven will really affect um, their musical intelligence. You can really increase it during this time. Once they're seven, they can still learn new musical skills, they can still learn about music, but their aptitude is less than, is, is set. I shouldn't say it's less. Their aptitude is set. So that's also why I wanted to create these videos is because maybe we can have more kids walking into music classrooms at age five that have these higher musical aptitudes and can then bring the rest of the class along with them. So you're really affecting your child's musical intelligence by doing musical activities with them. So that's part of my mission as well.